live too fast Ain't no such thing as too fast People say I drop too fast Move too fast Live too fast Ain't no such thing as too fast Living at the speed of light like a bullet, I could be there by the morning. I can't call it, so I ain't got no time. Wait, I've been down and out for too long, and I ain't got too many. I'm still so long like I like well over a month I think girl hey babe welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey babe hey welcome um I, if I sound weird I'm gonna get into that a little bit later like right after this clip um girl you won't even believe it <laughs> you're not even gonna believe it um mm. Just wait for it. Just wait for the tea. Before we get into the tea, though, I want to give a big shout out to Dossier, of course. Y'all know how I rock with Dossier every month. I have two fragrances to show y'all real quick. The first one is Woody Rum, and then the second one is Fruity Oak Moss. I love these little pamphlets. These aren't just, like, for, like, PR purposes. Like, these come when you order your fragrance just because it has all the information on it. It has the notes what it's inspired by, the concentration, their mission, a little thank you. Y'all know how I feel about brands and thank yous, okay? So yeah, these are the best. I always keep mine just so that I can go back and like um, refer to them if I forget what the fragrance is inspired by. It always has it on the note card. So let's start with Woody Rum since I was just showing that in the clip before this. So Woody Rum, the notes are dry fruits, rum, and nutmeg. The middle notes are jasmine, cedarwood, and vanilla. The base notes are patchouli, amber, and sandalwood. So I got Woody Rum actually for Isaiah. So this is inspired by Killian Straight to Heaven. And it is, I believe, on Dossier's website featured as a cologne. But, you know, it don't matter. We can wear cologne. They can wear perfume. Anyone can wear anything. It really doesn't matter. This smells so freaking good. This is definitely like a winter scent. It's so funny because I have not smelled this on him yet because I've been using it. Like I have not given him this um, because it just smells so good. This is definitely one of those scents where we're going to be sharing it because I know it does smell really good on him, but I already know it smells really good on me and I love it and I'm not ready to just give it away. I would definitely say this is more like of a date night or a nighttime scent. Definitely like fall and winter vibes for this one so so good anytime they have a fragrance that's inspired by a killian fragrance i snatch it up because mm, y'all know killian is so expensive and dossier is not um next i have a free oak moss and the notes are green apple bergamot lemon the middle notes are peach rose and ylang ylang the base notes are musk oak moss patchouli and sandalwood this one is actually inspired by well, let me spray it this one is really really good this is inspired by creed aventus for her oh, this one i feel like creed aventus is like a cult staple like both the one for men and for women um so the fact that dossier made a scent inspired by it is just a genius it's just chef's kiss because this is such a popular scent um make sure y'all get with dossier for valentine's day like whether it's for yourself for your boo for your mom your sister your brother it doesn't matter um I'll have my code listed down below. When you go on Dossier, they have the welcome code. They also have like special like promotional 
deals going on around the holidays too so i'm sure they have something going on for valentine's day make sure you go and get with them and check them out thank you so much dossier for working with me for this video y'all know how i rock i want to put a picture up of my dossier collection because i believe i have probably like almost probably over 20 dossier fragrances and i have like my top i want to say like my top seven or eight on my perfume collection the ones that i go through like at least once a week yeah dossier is it make sure you get with them um like i said thank you so much dossier for working with me for this video valentine's day get with them and let's go ahead and jump into this vlog so tell me why i have covid girl I'm probably negative by now. I'm not gonna test today though. I'm gonna test tomorrow. Um, tomorrow it'll be like a full like half a week. But yeah, your girl has COVID. Like it finally got me. Y'all know I never had COVID before. Y'all know I was trying so hard not to get COVID. I did not go out to clubs, to restaurants. Y'all know when we were in the height of COVID, my ass was in the house. Like y'all know how I felt about that. I've talked about it in so many vlogs that like I was trying so hard not to get COVID both for myself, for my family. Um, and it finally got you, girl. I knew it was impossible to not get it. I knew I was going to get it eventually. They say you're going to get it at least once. And now's my time. I don't know if there was like a wave going on in Philly because I feel like a lot of people in Philly have gotten it like December, January, and now we're in February. Uh, so yeah, that's why I sound ugly <laughs> that's why i look crazy um this is the best i've looked in about maybe two weeks i've been maybe like a week and a half um because i have not been putting any effort into how i look i've been going through it covid feels exactly like how i thought it would um which is why i was working so hard not to get it because i knew that it was going to be like brutal and it definitely was for me i know some people their case is like mild like some people don't even feel like their symptoms or anything i was not one of those people um i'm trying to hurry up and film this for you guys because this was actually supposed to go out last week funny story um yeah this was supposed to go up last sunday um but I was so sick. So it hit me like around Friday. Um, even though I tested negative. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, girl, it was so, so, so bad. Like coughing, feeling weak, tired, sneezing, sore throat. I just wanted to like crawl out of my skin. Like I still feel weird inside my body. Like I feel like my body is no longer my body. Like it definitely came and like made its mark on me like and then on top of covid you know my period had to come on and just put the little cherry on top the little ice on top of the cake to just really like just do me in so um the clip that you saw like the little shower montage that was filmed last week the clips that you're going to see after this two of them were already filmed and edited and ready to go I had like bits and pieces of this vlog ready to go and like I had plans for that weekend. I was supposed to go out to eat with my nephew and stuff. Like I still had stuff that I needed to vlog. Mm -mm. COVID said, oh hell no sis, absolutely not. So I have COVID, Isaiah has COVID, my mom has COVID. Um, I actually, I got it from my mom um, and she got it from some other people. It's a whole thing. Um, it's so funny how it played out. Um, she was actually over here when the people called and told her like, hey, we got COVID and she was just around those people. She was actually at my house when they called. So it was a whole thing. Like, it's crazy. Um, but we're all doing okay. We're all going to retest tomorrow just to make sure that we're finally done with it. Um, I still like, you can hear like I don't sound like how i normally sound um and yeah i know even when i test negative i'm still gonna have like i'm still not gonna feel 100 percent. like i don't know how long this is gonna take but like there is times where like i feel like i'm doing really good and then next thing you know i'm crashing and i just want to go to sleep like it's crazy like i don't 
see how people were like just out and about not caring about getting this because this shit is crazy like oh my god it's it's crazy but anyway that's the little rant your girl got covid um i'm okay everyone's okay um yeah i knew i wasn't crazy i knew i didn't want to get this why would i want to get this why would i want to feel like this like my skin is no longer my skin but isaiah's coming up i don't know what he wants <coughs> hey. recording day Mm -hmm. Like real quick. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> before I before, before this y'all knocked me over the head. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel I'm ready to get back to bed. Uh-huh. Okay. Like I'm I feel like I'm gonna be sick for a couple couple days. That's what I was just telling them. How you feel today? I still feel I feel like a four. Hi little boy. Don't jump on me. Um that's what I was saying. I was saying like even when we test tomorrow and it says negative, I'm still gonna like just have like the remnants of it. Like it's like when you really look at your videos, it's really like damn. Like, we was really going through it for like the past six months. So you really look at your YouTube videos like I know. I, I was telling them like I, I'm glad they can they can hear you say it because I've been telling them like in these vlogs that life has been like kicking our ass and like we not playing like life has been like slapping us left and right yeah. every month like it's crazy it's like no it stops it's gotta be something <laughs> around the corner or something because it's like damn it's something around the corner if february's gonna be a good month i'm claiming it too so maybe that's about it not you <laughs> no i seen it come up on my tiktok i seen it come up on my tiktok you gotta cut that part out <laughs> cutting this clip out really? not too exposing us <laughs> that's so funny Oh, babe, here's your fragrance from Dossier. Thank you. You can have this now. I have no. I showed them. <laughs> I'm trying. You want to go eat today? What you want to eat? No, I don't want to eat today. I, I mean, we got to test then. Yeah, my stomach is messed up too. I don't I'm think. Saying, like, well, what are we going to eat today? This is what mostly what I'm asking. What are we eating? Because I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but my stomach is messed up at the same time. I'm hungry. That's another thing, you guys. We haven't been able to eat. Like, we take like two bites out of our food and we're done. Like, nauseous. Yeah. I probably I'm lost like right 10 how, pounds. How am I nauseous and hungry at the same time? Right. <clears throat> Where are you going? I'm going to just be in the living room just chilling. Okay. I'm done playing the game for the day probably. I'll just get in the locks. So, I'm going to let him run. He's talking about he getting locks today and tomorrow. Sheesh. Is his hair not locked already? It's just twists? Yeah, he just got twists. Oh, so he's locking it? Yeah, it's locked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to split this. I, this whole vlog is going to be, like, just very, like, edited. Like, I'm about to just end this clip here. But, re, like, keep filming. I have a haul for you guys. But you're going to see it later on in the vlog because I just want to, like, break it up a little bit so I'm not just sitting here talking y'all ear off. Um, so the next clip is going to be me making Jonah Juice's uh, spicy tuna. And then I think I'll put the haul in the middle of that clip and me actually going to join juice which was like two weeks ago at this point um just so that it's like like i said not me just sitting here talking your head off but um yeah i'm about to film the haul for you guys i'm gonna try to try on everything as quickly as i can to show you guys because i don't want to just like hold this up and show you um i'm gonna try them on so that you can see how it looks on me and see if it's something that you will be interested in um and then that's gonna be it I gotta go. I gotta go lay down. Um, this is about to take probably like 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm done for the day. I have to edit this video, get it up and running on YouTube. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be doing a lot better. Hopefully, I'll be out the house finally. Um, but yeah, let me go film that for you guys. And I'll see y'all later. Okay, so my heat is on. So, yeah, sorry if it's like super loud. But real quick, let me just show y'all everything that you need for this tunicado. Mine, like I said, I'm going to make the spicy one. So if you don't like spicy, just don't use... Oh my God, and he is loud. What the hell is going on? If you don't like spicy, don't use Tabasco and don't add jalapenos because that's what makes it spicy. So yeah you need your bread this is the bread that i'm going to be using i got this from whole foods 
it's the be free soft white loaf i've never tried this bread before but it just looked similar but it's not it's actually just white bread but that's okay because it doesn't have to be like 100 percent the same for me like i don't really care that much but we're gonna see so then you need mayonnaise for your tuna you need tuna of course this is from trader joe's this is low sodium and it is in water i made sure to get low sodium because tuna can be very 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 high in sodium which is why i stopped eating it for a while so yeah you need a tomato you need an avocado you're not going to use the whole things though so don't worry about that and then you need some pesto i got this from whole foods too it's just a classic one and like i said for the spicy you need tabasco and you need jalapenos so yeah let's get into it all right so for my bread i'm just gonna put some butter and maybe just a little bit of mayonnaise on it just so it can toast good and um i'm gonna put it in my panini press like how they do at joe and the juice so let's see i really hope this turns out good it doesn't have to be the same but i just want it to it doesn't have to look the same i should say but i just want it to oh the bread is really soft let me see i um i should melt my butter okay yeah scratch that i'm gonna melt my butter so that i don't break up the bread one second okay melted the butter obviously and i'm gonna just brush it on the best that i can i think i'm gonna need some more butter all right so far this is going shitty <laughs> One second. All right. I don't really want it to have too much butter. I just wanted to be able to get some color on it. But that's when the mayo comes in because the mayo makes it like really, really like golden. So, we got the butter. Let me just do a little bit of. I'm only going to do the mayo on one side, the outside. Because. I don't really mind the inside not being too golden. You know what I mean? Okay, that's literally it for the mayo. And then I have my not even making that noise. I got my panini press, it's ready to go. Can I do this? Try one at a time so we don't F this up. All right, and let's let this just get brown and toasted and then in the meantime let's move on to our tuna to the tuna like why it tastes so good is because they add a lot of mayonnaise so that's what we want to do and i saw them they mix it up with their hands like the gloves so i'm about to get me a glove <laughs> and mix it with my hands i thought that was like just genius like if you really want to get in there you gotta get in there with your hands anyway mayo I'm a that's too much I'm gonna start with this and see how it do and then go from here I don't know about any seasonings I don't think they season it I don't really know oh y'all when I tell you the bread looks fire I'm so excited I'm so excited 
yeah, the bread. Oh, and it's crispy. I'm about to show y'all in one second. Oh, I'm so excited. I might have done something. Y'all, look at this fucking bread. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Don't the juice who? It's about to be Taylor and the mother in juice, okay? Okay, back to this tuna. How many more mayonnaise I can tell already? Let's assemble. They do pesto first. So I'm gonna do it that way too. I don't even really like pesto, y'all. But honestly, you can't even really taste it on there. So it's not for me, like it's not even necessary because like I said, I didn't even taste it really. But for the sake of it being as close to it as possible. I'm gonna just do it. I'm not gonna do too much of this. All right, I'm only gonna do one side with pesto. They do both, but yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't like pesto. And then they do, I think they do avocado next. I don't know if they do the avocado or the tuna. I think they do the avocado. And for the spicy tuna, you have to ask them for avocado. I'm sure they charge extra, but the original tuna cotto does come with avocado. So pesto, avocado, tomato. Um, I'm gonna do the jalapenos now. I always ask them for extra jalapenos too. And then I'm gonna put the tuna and then the Tabasco sauce and see how it goes. I hope this tuna... Mmm. Hold up, y'all. It's good. I was gonna say, I hope this tuna tastes good, but the key really is a lot of mayo. And I also asked for extra tuna. See, let's do this side. Press it and boom, sis. You got a freaking tuna cotto, a spicy tuna. Tell me that don't look good. Not this plate being dirty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, let's taste it and see. Why I put paper towel on my nipples because. I don't got no more pasties and my shirt is see-through but i don't feel like putting my sweatshirt over it because it's hot so yeah we just want to have paper towel with pasties okay anyway let's taste this um spicy tuna yo i can't believe this looks so freaking good i hope it tastes good though my bread is kind of cold now i'm a uh Wrap it in a little bit of aluminum foil so that everything doesn't fall out of it. Alright, now it's really giving Joan the juice, okay? Because that's how they wrap it. And <laughs> I cracked myself up. Alright, let's taste it. Mm, I don't know where I should bite, but let's just get into it. Mmm. 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 Girl. 
This is literally not me dropping it. This is literally the same thing. Their bread is a little crispier. It's the same thing. Wrap it up. It's literally the same thing. It's just as good. A little waterloo black cherry mm. that is so good all right let me go eat my lunch y'all that's a 10 out of 10 if you don't have a jonah juice near you just recreate it it's so good um this so i already got the pants i already showed y'all the pants i think a while ago a couple of vlogs ago i haven't worn them yet just because i honestly don't even know why i haven't worn them but these are a size six these are the groove um flare pants and i wear my black ones all the time y'all always see me in my black ones but these are just basically yoga pants from lululemon and i love the color it's in the color um a roasted brown right one night i was just on lululemon just browsing around and i came across the like this shirt and I know everyone, well, in the Lululemon community loves this shirt. So I don't know what the name of it. Is it the Align? Yeah, so this is the Lululemon Align long sleeve top. I got it in a size 6. I could have gotten a 4. The size 6 was like kind of swimming on me. It was swimming on me. And I normally can fit like a 4, a 4 to a 6, like a size small in tops. Anyway, I got the top in the same color the roasted brown it's super stretchy it's very like scooped in the front and the back so i don't know what kind of bra i would have to wear with this but i definitely do have to wear a bra because it's loose around my boobs y'all know i don't have boobs so with it being big and like my chest doesn't fill it out it's kind of like just kind of baggy almost um so i have to wear a bra just to like take up some space in it but it's super cute, it's super comfortable, and it's the exact same color as the pants. So this is going to be like a cute little set to wear. I'll probably start wearing this when it starts warming up, like March, April time. Where like it's still kind of cool, but you can get away with not wearing a jacket type of vibe. Super cute, definitely love it. And the shirt was on sale, but that was the only reason why I got it. It was on sale. If it wasn't on sale, I was not picking it up um, because I'm not paying how much is this originally? $78 for a top. I think I got this for like um, $28 or $30, something like that. And the thing about Lululemon is the stuff lasts a long time. The quality is amazing. So, yes. And then also from Lululemon, if you see my TikTok, you see most of this stuff. Um, I posted some of these sets and stuff on my TikTok last week. But I also picked up this Define jacket. This is the crop one and i love this color so much like i couldn't pass this up i think it might be in stock still this is a very like popular color it's um white opal and i got this in a size six also everything in lemon um i'm a size six in like the pants and the jackets and stuff so for reference i'm a size six um super cute it has thumb holes the sleeves are like really long and stuff love these jackets i know i have my black one all the time and it's just going to be like a staple in my wardrobe now so i had to pick this color up for spring like it was no way i wasn't gonna have this in my collection they just put a new um color up that i want so i'm gonna have to see about that see if they have it in stores or if i have to order online and they do have like pockets on both sides they're just, just really comfortable like sporty jackets to wear and again, I'm gonna start wearing that in like the spring. And then same jacket, but I got it in Sonic Pink. This is the same shade as my belt bag, which I haven't worn yet that I showed y'all back in December. Um, yeah, your girl is wearing color now. I can't wait to wear this when it starts warming up and just pop out with it. I just felt like I couldn't not have this because I know this is like such a popular color. I knew it was gonna sell out and i don't think it has yet but 
it was coming home with me i had to order it i needed it and it's crazy because me a hot pink like it don't even the, the two don't even go but somehow we got it so anyway let's go on to zara from zara i got um a couple sets or one set from their sale and like some other items so the first thing that i got um it's just these pants I bought these like thinking like they would be like a cute little airport outfit even though I have no trips planned but they're just basically um wide leg or like just like straight leg sweat pants and they're just like this olive green color um I got mine in a size medium I haven't tried these on yet but you'll see them in the clip so hopefully they fit good especially since like i said um i definitely lost weight and was not planning on it and then to go with it i got the top the top is just basically like this polo-esque button up top and it's just super cute the buttons don't go all the way down it's just the first three love the pockets because the pants has pockets as well and the color was just like it for me like even though it's like a sweat set the color and the style of it make it more like you can dress it up so I'm planning on probably wearing this sometime this month just because it's nice and thick and um I don't know I could just get away with wearing it like now rather than later on in spring and then I also picked up these sweatpants they have like a lot of like loose fit wide leg straight leg sweatpants now which i love so i got these which these are basically the same exact thing but these are just heathered gray and i believe these pants don't come with a matching top though and it has pockets on both sides just basically kind of like um cargo-esque like almost like camel pants style pockets super cute love how these fit these are a size small and then to go with these pants or just to have also i picked up this shirt which is so nice like the quality is so thick it's so stretchy i got it in a size small and it's like this knit or like sweater type material but it's a crop top and it's super plain but the material makes it look very like high quality high end and a little dressy it's super cute they have other colors as well that i want to pick up but i couldn't leave without this this was like so 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 cute i love the cut of the sleeve and everything tried that one already love it so much and then lastly i picked up this sweatshirt because i don't know why when i saw this on the website um i was like, this is like really cute like to throw on with some denim shorts springtime i don't know why i'm like hyper focused on spring but like i'm so ready for spring so like just to throw this on with some like denim shorts and some sandals and just go about your day like i feel like it's super cute super like low-key but still put together um this has just four buttons at the top i'm loving this style of like sweatshirt where it looks like it's just a shirt but it's like i don't know thick i don't know i just really love it and then it just has like tampa palms in red it has like pops of color throughout it and i don't know i just thought it was like super cute super like sporty it's giving me golf vibes you know what i mean like i don't know it's like a golfer shirt i don't know why i don't know i don't know what it was but y'all know i be in florida a lot i be in tampa so i was like i don't know i need to have this sweatshirt like i don't know i don't know i needed it and i got it so super cute moving on from zara next from aritzia i picked up girl my energy is going really fast i picked up this sweatsuit from their sale again aritzia is one of those places where if it's not on sale i'm not buying it type of thing like i don't Mm -mm. I only shop during sales because I feel like their prices are just outrageous. Um, I feel like the sale price is more reasonable for what their price should be, like their standard prices should be. 
I'm not paying more than the sale price. Like I just, I can't justify it. So, cause even like the quality of this is, don't get me wrong, it's cute and everything, but quality wise, it's thin. Like it's nothing compared to like even like the Zara stuff is a little bit thicker than a Ritz. Like girl, no, don't pay full price for Ritzia. It's not worth it in my opinion. Um, and wait till I wash this. Girl, if it don't hold up, me and Aritzia are going to be fighting. I picked up this sweatshirt in a size medium from the sale. This is in the color Bold Fuchsia, okay? Your girl got a Bold Fuchsia sweat set in her collection. Who the hell is she? I'm trying to tell y'all, for spring, I'm kind of tired of neutrals. Like, ugh, I can't. And my energy is going, oh my god, I'm starting to feel like, mm, bad. So, anyway the sweatsuit it's just like a boxy zip up sweatshirt super cute i got it oversized because i kind of wanted to wear it like off the shoulder with just like a bralette underneath and go about my day and then i picked up the sweatpants to match these are like the jogger style i didn't want this style but it was all they had left it has like this like ribbed type of material along the sides which i like um but i don't know i think i'm kind of like over the style of sweatpants like i just want it to be like either relaxed or wide leg but you know it was what it was and these are in a size medium i'm looking at these i haven't tried them on yet these look a little bit big but <sighs> we'll have to see i might have to shrink some of this stuff in the dryer because yeah but we'll see how it looks on me hopefully hopefully it looks really cute because that i can't return it's final sale so yeah from essentials i'm gonna try to speed this up y'all because i really don't feel good um i got this i wanted this color so bad when it first dropped and i just i don't know what it was that i didn't like just pull the trigger i'm so happy i didn't like I'm I'm so proud of myself because I got this on a sale. This is actually the kids line, the kids collection. So this is in a size extra large, which is a 12. And it fits perfectly. It's perfectly oversized. Oh my god, my camera is overheating. And I just love the color. I love the white against the coral. Like it's just so pretty. And then again, it's like the mock neck. I don't know. I'm feeling this type of neck lately. So I picked this up and I picked up the shorts to match. Let me just show you real quick. My camera cuts off. Um, I picked up the matching shorts to match. These are in the size 14, 16. Again, this is kids. I think the shorts were 30 and then the sweatshirt was 40. Like what? Mm, couldn't pass it up. Super cute. Cannot wait to uh, wear this in the springtime. Like, I don't know. I'm, like I said, spring just please hurry up because i'm ready for you and again it has like the white against the coral super super cute i can wear them together i can wear it separate like this with some denim shorts Ugh, a vibe all right i just went and tried on everything a lot of this stuff i mean you would have seen it already in the clips are wrinkled so you can't like get the full effect also my hair isn't done so some of the stuff just wasn't hitting like how it was supposed to be hitting you know, when you have your makeup and your hair down, you try stuff on, it looks like mm, chef's kiss. You know, I look and feel like a slob kebab. So, yeah. Um, lastly, I just wanted to show you. I'm not going to try this on because everybody has it. Y'all know what it looks like. And that just wore me out so bad. I still need energy to edit this video. And, like, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses, but like if you've had COVID and it was like a bad case, then you know how I feel right now. Um, but anyway, I got the Alexander Wang sweatsuit in gray. Um, I want to get this in another color because this quality is amazing. Aritzia, even trying that Aritzia stuff on, and I don't know what it is about Aritzia, but they don't make their pants long enough. Like. I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm not one of the taller girlies. Like, so I can only imagine the frustration that people must experience with Aritzia because even though they have that, like, I think they have, like, petite, regular, and tall. I had ordered something from the tall section 
and it was still kind of short on me and again i'm 5'5 five five, like i'm basically average height um that's not okay but let me show y'all what suit it comes in this bag because i actually went to the flagship store i didn't order it online so that's how i have like the bag and everything um what is this oh my god they give you a bag a tote bag this is so nice i didn't even know and then i got my essays um she gave me her full her phone number and her um handle she was so nice i actually want to reach out to her and ask her if she has any um like i want this in another color but i don't want like the purple that's out right now i want like another neutral i didn't even know she gave me this it's so nice oh my gosh it's like a tote bag a shopping bag and it's like this thick plastic oh my god my battery is running low please hold my hair looks crazy from trying that stuff on but like i was saying it's just like a shopping bag but it's like really thick high quality plastic and it just says Alexander Wang on it. This is so nice. Oh, I thought it was just kind of like printed and white. But these are like... Um, like actually letters that were like stuck on. And they're silver, like glittery, metallic. I don't think it's going to show on camera. But they're metallic-y letters. This is so nice. What would I put in here? <clears throat> Cause I wouldn't even take this to like the supermarket because I wouldn't even want it to get messed up. This is so cute. I don't know what I will do with this. <laughs> I don't know, but it's so cute and it's nice quality and I appreciate that. That's so nice. Anyway, let me show you the sweatsuit. So like I said, it comes in this like trash bag looking bag. And it's just the gray sweatsuit that everybody has. Like, this is so old. And, um, you know, everybody has this. But the quality is just so amazing. And there is no way that I was not going to get this gray sweatsuit. Like, y'all know me better than that. Like, I don't even know why it took me this long to get it. I think I was actually waiting to go buy it in store because I didn't know what size to order online. Um, or like when I would go online, they would have like the sweatshirt in my size, my size, or, um, but not the pants or the pants in my size or the sweatshirt. So I was thinking that I was going to need a small in the, or no, I think I was going to get a medium in both. Completely wrong. Um, I got the pants in a size extra small. I could have did the small, but the extra small kind of just gave me a little bit more shape. And I got the sweatshirt in a size small. So if I would have ordered the medium... I probably would have thought that's how it was supposed to fit. Like, I wouldn't have known any better. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I probably would have been like, oh, okay, this is cute. But, like, no. When I went into the store, I got to try on the small, extra small, and the medium. The medium would have been humongous on me. So, uh, yeah, she was super nice. She, like, gave me all the sizes to try on. She didn't, like, rush me or anything. And I just really appreciate that. And I didn't even know she, like included like all this stuff in it super nice definitely would only buy from in store even though i know my size just because like the experience was just like amazing so yeah pick this up i'm not gonna try it on like i said because y'all know y'all seen this everywhere but highly recommend this sweatsuit it's such thick nice quality i know it's pricey but it is worth it like this is gonna last you a really long time so yeah lastly i did go to sephora and get some stuff i got the new mario foundation I tried this out already i did really like it i don't know if it's like my like perfect shade but um it kind of, i kind of just make it work so i did pick it up i did use it already so mine is a little bit dirty i do really like it though it's really really nice it has like sheen like really fine um shimmer in it you're not gonna be able to see it on camera or maybe you will i don't know i have to watch it back and see but it's super super nice and it does come with a pump mine is 30 because like i said i did use it already 
but the packaging is really really nice high quality glass um i know everyone's talking about this on tiktok everyone's talking about this like all over and i'm not even one to like get new foundations because you know i already have my holy grail um morphe foundation which y'all morphe closed down i think they're only going to be online now but yeah the stores gone i think they had filed for bankruptcy i'm not really sure but yeah i know i love that foundation so i kind of panicked and was gonna go ahead and like buy a couple other foundations because I thought they were going out of business and like y'all know that's my all-time favorite foundation but I think they're going to just be online which is fine so they're not in Ulta anymore and they don't have like their um storefronts it's crazy so I also picked up the makeup by Mario what is this this is the moisture glow plumping lip serum and I got the shades new glow and pink glow this has been in my cart for so long like these are so nice I'm not going to try them on just because I don't want to like contaminate them. I want to make sure that I don't have COVID before I put these on my lips. Um, that could just be me being paranoid. I don't know. But I'm not putting these on my lips until I know that this one is out of me. So yeah, these are super cute. Um, I'm going to see like if they're actually going to be plumping or not. But even if they're not, I got them for the shades. Like they're really, really, really pretty on the lips. I was like stalking the reviews and stuff and everyone seems to like really like it on Sephora so pick these both up and I cannot wait to use these <clears throat> and lastly I picked up the way St. Bart's scrub this smells amazing this has also been in my cart forever and ever and ever it smells so good you can smell it through the cap this actually reminds me of like hair grease but like in the best way like i don't know how to explain it this gives me like memories like back at my old house vibes this is like very nostalgic for me but it smells really good it smells like a vacation but it also smells like the blue hair grease like y'all know what i'm talking about i don't know it smells really really good can't wait to use this i kind of didn't want to use any of this stuff because it's just like when i'm sick i don't want to like use my nice stuff like i don't want to eat like my favorite foods and stuff because it's just like it don't hit the same you know what i mean and i'm one of those type of people that when i get sick i get really sick unfortunately like uh, that's just always been the case and always will be the case for me um so like i had to call my doctor and stuff and like let my doctor know that i have because i see a specialist and stuff i'm not going to really get into it but I just like called them and let them know that I had COVID because like I said, I'm one of those people that if I get sick, I get really sick. So yeah, that's why I was like fighting so hard not to get this damn COVID, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm going to start editing this whole portion for you guys so that I can have this up and ready for you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go lay down and edit because... Mm, my energy is just completely gone but yeah i'm sorry that i'm like starting like my year off like this is the first video that you guys are seeing and it's kind of like just all over the place and i'm sick like that is not how we were supposed to come into 2023 like oh so annoying <laughs> but um you know it is what it is life happens so what can you do um so yeah enjoy the rest of the vlog and i'll see y'all on sunday Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drives with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in the household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh.